Say hi. Woo! We're off to the uh, starting line of the Mid-State Massive. Where are we? How far away are we? Six minutes away. Oh geez, it's getting real. Getting real. How you guys feeling? You want to be on a video? Oh, sure. <laughs> What's your name? Wilson. Wilson. Josh. Josh. Mark. Mark. We're out here, mile what? Seven? Everyone feels great. Feeling we'll, good. We'll update later when everyone looks like uh, shit. <laughs> sure is pretty up here though. Fall in New England. Colors are popping, trees are turning colors. And we've got some elevation here. It's hard to see through these trees, but there's a nice view on the other side. We might get a better one further up this trail. Well, that was exciting. Interesting. <laughs> All right, update number one, 15 miles in, and uh, I'm not feeling that great, sadly. It's way too early to be feeling this way. Started the race a little too hot. I mean, I never learned my le lesson. I go out a little too fast every time, and this was no exception. I was hanging with uh, the leader pack from my wave for about, I don't know, 10 miles, when I started to feel like, yeah, it's way too fast, so kind of dropped from hanging with them. I'm really trying to focus on running my own race and not letting the numbers or what position I'm in get in the way because it's not why I'm here. Right now I'm not feeling too hot. My calves kind of cramping up. There's a big climb back there that really sent my uh, calves into like spasms. They're using something called body armor at the aid stations which I haven't tried before. It kind of tastes like Gatorade and I'm so used to using Tailwind so I think I'm gonna convert when I get to my drop bag and just pick up a bunch of Tailwind that I left there and uh, just start doing my own hydration mix. See if that turns things around. Dialing back the pace to walking basically. See if I can pull this around. Feeling a little bit better. I swapped over to Tailwind at the last aid station and I feel a lot better with that choice. Threw down a peanut butter and jelly, uh, half a can of gin ginger ale. Something funny happened. I was trying to crawl over a log across the trail, like straddling it, and uh, both my legs seized up and started cramping and I was stuck straddling a log for like five minutes until it cooled down. And I was able to get my feet off. Quick update on where I am. We're in the hardest part of this trail. See, this just goes straight up. This is called Crow Hill. And it's a series of ledges, all granite and moss covered and slippery. Uh, it's tough. So after this, it gets a little bit easier. Uh, and then we have to climb up Wachusett Mountain, which is the highest point on this trail. Then after that, it cools down a little bit and we have kind of a downhill section. Pulling it together, we're not quitting this race. I'm saying that now. Okay, see you soon. Thanks.
So my GoPro is gonna be struggling for a little bit. And soon I'm gonna have to pop on my headlamp, but not quite yet. Coming down the high point now, this is Mount Wachusett. Just crossed the summit up there, it's actually really beautiful. I should have got some video of that because the sunset was happening and the sky was on fire. And uh, my legs are kind of recovering. They're not cramping as bad, but in certain movements, my quads will fire up or my calves. So I'm just being very careful right now and moving at a pretty slow pace. And you know what? Today's not gonna be PR. Don't really care. Just wanna finish this race without uh, hurting myself. So onward, we move. Uh, let's see how far we can get in this thing. All right, you probably can't see me right now. I was wearing a headlamp. Oh, can you see me now? Uh, we are at mile 30 and uh, I'm feeling much better. Feeling pretty good actually. So I'm running again, which is great. Uh, we'll see where the night takes us. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, we're at mile 40 and I was feeling pretty good from like mile 30 to 40, like pretty strong and my cramps kind of went away. But now uh, my stomach kind of went south and my stomach's kind of cramping and my leg cramps came back a little bit, which is weird because I thought I got past that. So I uh, put down some salt pills and um, some food. S still taking the tailwind in. Stomach's kind of churning right now. It doesn't feel very good. Um, it's dark and I'm alone out here, but I'm still moving. Right now I'm like way behind schedule. <laughs> Although, you know, I didn't really have a goal time for this race. Just wanted to like experience it and you know, feel fulfilled by the time I get to the finish line. At this point, I'm, I'm 11 hours and 40 minutes in, and I'm only at mile 40. That doesn't look good for uh, overall time, but you know what? Whatever. It's not about overall time today. I just, uh, I just really don't want to start throwing up because that will end things pretty quick wow that was depressing sorry about that i was just editing this video and watching along with you and uh yeah it was interesting to watch the progression throughout the day long story short i did not finish the mid-state massive 100 mile ultra marathon that last clip you saw from the gopro was the last time i hit record on the camera before i dropped from the race at aid station six at around 44 miles into the race now i could probably make a lot of excuses why i didn't finish this race but to be honest, I don't think I had it in me from the start. Uh, I was undertrained. we've got a new baby in the house, and uh, things have just been so unstable lately that uh, the race and even training has been taking the back seat in favor of other priorities because life gets in the way. And even when I got there and I towed the starting line, part of me, part of my brain knew that there was a chance I wasn't gonna make it to the end because I feel like the hunger just wasn't there this year. It's just like when you've got all these other important things going on, something like a silly race feels a little bit selfish to focus on. So yeah, uh, it is what it is. Uh, I got 43 or 44 miles into the race, which I'm still proud of. Uh, I do wish I made it to the finish line. Um, I think there are things I, I could have done better. I think uh, if I changed my hydration strategy from the beginning of the race and just used Tailwind right from the starting line, that might have helped prevent the cramping early on in the race because I was cramping pretty bad by mile 15, mile 20, like really bad. And that's when things went really downhill. I also think I could have gotten better sleep leading up to the race, but that's not really up to me. We've got a 12 day old baby in the house and uh, three other kids. So it is what it is. In either case, I still had a great time at the Mid-State Massive 100 miler. Um, a lot of it went right. And I had a lot of great conversation with runners out there. Uh, a lot of good people were on the course and it was so awesome to meet so many people out there and I do want to thank the race organization for putting on such a unique event the Mid-State Massive is so cool that it's a point-to-point -point race and 
logistically, it's just so amazing to wrap your head around. And finally, one more special thanks to my brother-in-law, Adrian, who dropped me off at the start of the race, but not only that, he came out in the middle of the night at midnight to pick me up from 8th Station 6 and drive me an hour home uh, without even complaining about it. He didn't bat an eye, he was in his car driving within a couple of minutes of me texting him. In any case, I just wanted to share my story because a lot of people have been asking about this race and I wanted to let everyone know ultimately what ended up happening. If you enjoyed this video or you find it inspirational or fun or sad or I don't know anything, it just passed the time, consider hitting the thumbs up button down below and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss more videos from me in the future. And of course, I'll keep you updated on any upcoming races or training or any life events going on with me in the future. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. <laughs>